in this video, let's go through how to sketch and the things that we want to keep in mind as we make sketches. Let's dive in. So in this environment, let's try to make something that looks like the side profile of how about a Lego. Let's sketch out that kind of profile that has those straight lines and 90 degree angles. I'll start by clicking this activate a 2D sketch. And then if I click a plane, it'll have me sketch on that plane. So I'll choose my XY plane. And then I can select a line. And as I make this line, you can see it gives me a, a length. If I wish to try to make it a specific length, then I can go, let's say I want to make it about two and a half inches. Right about there. But you'll also see this little horizontal symbol that goes away if I move my mouse. What this is, is if I were to click to make my line with the symbol active, a Libre will make sure to make my line horizontal. We would call that a horizontal constraint. In other words, if I make my line, no matter what I do with my line, the line will always stay horizontal. We also can see a little symbol is left behind to remind us that that line is being kept horizontal. Next, maybe I'll make another line going vertically. And you can see I have the same thing. I get a little preview of what my line dimension is going to be. And I also have this little 90 degree symbol that pops up, but it also pops up over here at the base of my horizontal line. That is a perpendicularity constraint. And because it pops up at the base of my horizontal line and my vertical line, it means that it is gonna keep those two lines perpendicular to each other, or in other words, we'll keep them at a 90 degree angle. And you can tell I get a little length and angle preview as I go to draw my line. Maybe we'll make that one and a half inches long, about. So I click to create that line, and I can create another horizontal line. And here you can see another symbol that pops up, these two kind of angled lines and they also pop up on my horizontal line. That is known as a parallel constraint. In other words, it will keep the two lines parallel to each other. So I'll click to add that. You'll notice I have a perpendicularity constraint and a parallel. And here's yet another one. I have two horizontal lines that make what look to be an equal sign. If I were to click to create this line, it will keep these two line segments in equal length. All right, so maybe I'll stop there and take a look at what I have. Well, here I can see that these two line segments are indeed kept in equal length, but this has a little angle to it, and I would sure like this to be straight up and down. So I can actually come to my constraints over here, add a vertical, just like that. Now I can see that this line segment is spilling over my little halfway plane here, also known as my Y axis or my YZ plane. Perhaps I would like this point to be vertical to this point. I can certainly do that again with my vertical constraint there to there. So these are what we would call constraints. Because they have relationships to other parts, for instance, this equal sign means that this line has a relationship with this line in that they are the same length. These are sometimes referred to as relations and collectively sometimes called constraints and relations. So perhaps I would like to continue to make another side to my Lego piece. I'll draw this. You can see I have a uh, parallel constraint. And here I have these red dotted lines, meaning that if I click my line, I'll be level with this other one. However, if I stop drawing my line with the escape key, it is not something that uh, makes a relationship between the two. The red dotted lines are simply a reference. Perhaps I would like this line segment and this line segment to be equal in length. Well, I can simply grab an equal and click both line segments, and now they're kept equal. 
So you can tell we can automatically add constraints as we draw line segments, but we also can manually add them after the fact if we wish to further define our sketch. I'll do the same thing here. I've got my equals added right there. And then I can finish up by saying I want this line segment to be vertical. I would like an equal line segment here and here. I would also like this line segment to be vertical. And it looks like I need this segment and this segment to be equal as well. And then lastly, I'll add an equal from here to here. And we should have a fully symmetric Lego piece. So hopefully you can see that from this video, you can add both manual and automatic relationships between the different parts of your sketch. Let's go in the next video where we continue to look at different relationships we can add and different elements that we can use that are not just lines. See you then.